Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CBP Nerd video series on STL series and this video is about priority queue. Have you ever heard about min heap or max heap? So this is what it is. And let me tell you that I'm not going to explain what min heap or max heap is, but I will tell you what is the basic functionality of this and how we can achieve the same thing with this priority queue. So in order to understand this first, you need to understand the requirement. The requirement is, let's suppose you are keep on getting some data and you have to store that data somewhere. And while you are storing, while it is incoming, to store the data, sometime it may be required that you have to get the data from here and it should be either maximum of all the data what you have received so far or minimum of all the data. So let's suppose uh, so far if I have received maybe 5, 10 or and if I will say that okay I am building a min heap using this priority queue and if I will ask give me the top one it will give me five because it is min heap I, I am maintaining a minimum heap and if I'll ask for the max heap I mean if I want to create a max heap and if I will ask the data give me the top one it will give me the 20 so the requirement is you keep on getting the data and you are inserting that this could be a very big list this can be in millions and the requirement is while you are inserting sometime you may have to retrieve the maximum or the biggest or the largest element out of all the million number and once you received it you may delete that or you can just access it and keep on inserting the next data so if this is your requirement then the priority queue is the solution for you actually internally it is a implementation of a min heap or max heap that i will explain in my data structure series so this is an stl series where i will explain std priority queue so this is clear right i mean you will make a data structure or this is kind of a container which will contain all the elements for you and whenever you ask it will give you the topmost or the smallest element in order of one this is what our requirement is okay so with this let's go ahead so what is this i explained you all this so node number zero is std priority key is a container adapter again it is a container adapter it means it is not any kind of a container it is adapting a container and that is a vector here so it does all the things using this vector inside it so std priority queue is a container adapter that provides constant time lookup of the largest or smallest element this is very important it is a constant time lookup and the second point is by default vector is the container used inside this second point is cost of the insertion and extraction is logarithmic exactly now you got the point right internally it is maintaining some kind of a tree don't tell me that i am telling you internally it is using vector and now i'm saying it is using tree no actually uh, vector is nothing but an array right kind of this now actually you can convert this array into binary search tree so we'll learn all these things don't worry when i will explain the data structure videos so for now you just understand that internally it is using vector and that vector is used as a tree that's why the cost of insertion and extraction is logarithmic and the third point is std priority queue is implemented using make heap push heap and pop heap so if you don't know about these functions actually this make heap will take an vector and convert that into heap so we don't have to worry about these functions i have listed them just because you should not feel that okay magically how internally it does that so magically doesn't happen anything right so internally it uses make heap push heap and pop heap to actually maintain a heap inside priority queue data structure and this priority queue data structure is very important don't forget the requirement guys i'm again and again telling you i'll tell you again the point is you will keep on getting the data see you are getting data simultaneously not simultaneously one after another and you are pushing that into some list so now if i ask okay you have received maybe thousand elements so far give me the biggest one in your list then you have to search and go uh, maybe n would be the complexity because you have to go to zero to maybe n and this is a very complex process this is not a good process 
okay this is not good process oh this is very ugly face because this is going to be very ugly okay so what if we can maintain this in some way that if i ask you give me the biggest one you will give in order of constant time let's say not this order of n because this n can be million and trillions and then it will be a big problem for you so that's why we manage our data using this priority queue which internally creates a heap so don't worry if you don't know about min heap or max heap these things will come later in this channel so let's see this program how it works so this is your driver function we have main here so this is how we create a priority queue you can write it like this is the data type you can use any data type and if you're using non-integral data type i mean your user defined data type then you have to give comparator so that is very common nowadays right you should be knowing how to give the comparator if you don't know i'll give you this example so the first example is this one second example is this one and this is going to be a third example so the first example we can see that okay we have created the object now using for loop and this is an array and one by one first I will get this one inside this element and I'm pushing that element into the queue. So as this is priority queue, internally it is going to use what function? See this function push heap. So when it created the heap, it will use make heap. When you are going to insert something into the heap, it will use this function. If you are going to extract, I mean, remove something, some element from heap, it will use this pop heap. So everything happens on the top it doesn't go inside if there are so many nodes so it will not go inside it will always work on this top because among these 5 10 15 and 20 this 20 will always be there if it is max heap and uh, maybe uh, 15 is there and 10 is there something like this would be there but it is very much clear that if it is max heap the topmost would be the maximum element if it is min heap its root will be the minimum element among all the elements. So as it is tree, we know that, okay, it will get into this tree data structure and we'll get the element at root, okay? Now, as you have inserted this full array into your priority queue, if we will print it, this will not get printed in the same order. It is actually going to print in sorted order because I'm calling this print queue and this is how we actually print it we check that priority queue is not empty you will get the top element and you will print it and you will pop the element which is again a top so top one will get removed and then it will adjust itself to find a new top or the new maximum or new minimum value among all those and that would become the top now so if that is happening in loop you will get these numbers in descending order if it is max heap and ascending order if it is min heap and similarly it will be doing the same thing here because we are not doing anything extra we are just saying that use container as vector and i'm going to give you the comparator here i mean or just a way of telling that okay now don't go for descending go for ascending so if you are putting greater means two elements will be compared with greater than value if you're not putting this the by default is less so two elements will be compared with less element so if i mean less com uh, operator as we are not giving anything here we have less here then in that case it will be in descending order so this will print nine eight seven six five four three two one zero so it will be printing like nine eight till zero so this is going to be descending order and as we are saying that Compare with the greater, it will be an ascending, so 0 to 9. And this guy I have taken because I wanted to show that you can actually use your own comparator. And this is how you will use it. You can pass your comparator when you are actually creating the priority key object. And this is the syntax for that. And similarly, you are pushing the same data into this. And this time it will use actual visible function. So you can have any data type here and depending on what data type you are passing you can compare here on whatever parameter you want to compare for those data types so it's like you can pass different different objects and you can actually compare them so this way you can compare user defined data types so let's run this and sum this video so if i'll compile this say it got compiled and if i'll run this 
see this is the output so first is 987 till 0 so this is going to put these values and as we are iterating over it we are always removing so that's why it is printing in the descending order because you are removing the top one so next top would be the next greater one then next greater one like that if you know what is min heap or max heap then actually this is going to be a max heap here this is going to be a min heap and this is also going to be a max heap and if you don't know what is max heap min heap don't get confused or don't think that you don't know that because i'm going to explain all those things in couple of days because this stl and all these threading and everything is getting completed so i have already started my data structure classes but few people said that okay i have not completed c++ stuff totally so i fall back and now i am about to complete the c++ up to some extent then in maybe 10 or 15 days i'll go for the data structure and algorithms and there you will get everything don't worry so with this if you are new to this channel consider subscribing it because you will get the notification of upcoming videos like this and put the like and comment what do you feel about this video so with this thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye